Right, so Ross Young has given us some pretty exciting details regarding the displays we could see in Apple's VR headset. And so let's delve into it. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so Ross Young in this report explains that we could see three displays with this Apple VR headset. Now, the first two displays are micro LED panels. They're going to be manufactured by Sony. They're going to be 1.4 inches diagonal and also 4K resolution. So yeah, these two displays put together gives us an 8K experience that's going to be unmatched by the competition. Now, the third display is a low resolution AMOLED panel that's going to be used for peripheral vision, thereby enabling a foveated, I think, display system. Now that's a bunch of fancy words, but basically this display is going to allow you to focus on a specific object or area when using the device. So for example, you're in a virtual world, there's a crowd, you're trying to focus on a singular person, and so you look at them, and the headset can focus on that person, and enhance the resolution of that focus point, and lower the resolution of the surrounding area. So yeah, that's some pretty cool tech, and in fact, Sony recently announced they're going to be using the same thing in their PSVR 2 headset for eye tracking. And so that could be suggesting that the main form of controlling this headset could be eye tracking and this smaller AMOLED panel could be used for that. Now Ross Young still believes we could see this at the end of 2022, which of course goes against Mark Gurman's recent report regarding delays. Although Ross Young does corroborate with Gurman on the price, it's going to be several thousand dollars. And so yeah, this is going to be a very high-end VR headset. Now finally, Ross Young does end the report by stating we could see multiple cameras for hand tracking with this VR headset, as well as a LiDAR scanner that's going to scan and map your environment. Ross also mentions we could see a high-end CPU in this. That does make sense, since Gurman has said we should see the M1 Pro in this, and that's very much needed to power the high-resolution micro OLED panels. But guys, tell me in the comments below, when do you think Apple's VR headset is going to launch? Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the card above on details regarding the iPad Air 5. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.